Inflation continues to trend downward. What does that mean for mortgage rates? Welcome to Dre's Take. The Consumer Price Index or CPI numbers came in today at 2.9% beating the 3% expectations. Many economists believe that this lagging indicator will reach the desired 2% target in the subsequent readings, and the Fed should go ahead and lower the funds rate. The Fed themselves has hinted at reducing the funds rate come September amid fears that they may have waited too long and a possible recession is already underway. Many point to the recent jobs report as an indicator of such, and is also why we've seen the stock market spin out of control last week. Subsequently, we've seen mortgage rates tumble about 1% over the past month, down from the mid sevens to the low to mid sixes currently. A much welcomed relief in affordability for buyers currently in the market and those that would like to consider. For sellers, this is good news as well stoking hopes that it will bring many buyers off the benches, leading to reduced time on market, and a higher likelihood of selling at or near your asking price. It's important to note, however, that the recent drop hasn't quite produced the onslaught of buyers that we would hope just yet. It appears the recent uptick in mortgage applications are predominantly those looking to refinance out of their 7.5% and 8% mortgages from last year. It does appear the Fed will cut rates in September. However, the expectation of increased government borrowing may put a damper on how far it impacts mortgage rates. The National Association of Realtors top economist Lawrence Yoon expects the new norm to be about 6% going forward and that the days of 4% interest rates are far behind us and nowhere in sight ahead. Anyways, if there's anything I can do to help you buy, sell, invest in real estate here in the Central Florida area, I'm always happy to do so. Feel free to reach out. Until next week, that's Dre's Take. All right, y'all. Take care.